Hi, I'm Jeff Tack, owner of Waterways Irrigation, supplier to farmers here in Kern County. And I've had it with politicians like Rudy Salas. Salas attacked our veterans, and now he's slighted the Kern County Farm Bureau with a mailer saying they endorse it. Well, they don't. Why would they? You've heard about the Groundwater Theft Bill 1739. It gave the state control of our groundwater. Salas pulled that off on the last day of session without warning. That's enough for me to say no to Rudy Salas. Salas is responsible for helping pass that groundwater theft bill. He voted to waive a rule that allowed passage, and without Salas' vote, it couldn't have passed. It's an attack on farmers and an insult to property rights. Salas has harmed thousands of farm families while doing nothing about the 700,000 acre feet of fresh water pouring into the salty ocean every year while Central Valley farms perish. Salas insults veterans, and now he insults the Kern County Farm Bureau. His campaign is nothing but trash talk. Don't buy it. Please join farm families in Kern and Kings County in voting for Pedro Rios, a hardworking farmer, veteran, and an honest man. Hi, I'm Jeff Powell. You got it? So the groundwater legislation bill where they came after our groundwater. Kern's been magnificent about storing its groundwater. And they came after our groundwater. You know how that groundwater bill got to the, the assembly floor? Because it wasn't in writing for three days. We took it up in mock-up form. So when they did that, you know who voted to suspend the rules? Who voted to suspend the rules and allow that to happen? Okay, one more time. You guys, come on, pay attention. Who voted to suspend the rules to allow them to take up the groundwater bill? Rudy Salas! Do you think that's right for our Kern County farmers? No! Okay, the next one, he attacked our veterans. I'm going to have a veteran come up in a minute. He's going to get ready to come on up here. Come on up here, Mr. Lee. But in the meantime, we're going to show you this video. He attacked, he attacked Pedro Rios for using his VA loan to purchase a home. I'm a United States military veteran and what he did was an assault on all veterans. When Rudy Salas wears a pair of combat boots, picks up an AR-15 or a weapon and defends this country, then he's got room to talk, but until then he needs to shut up. And uh, I'm here to support Pedro, uh, mainly because he's a veteran and uh, I saw all his ads, all his lies, and uh, I just think it's, uh, it's a lot of crap uh, for somebody who has never served a day in their life. Uh, because I don't think being a pep politician is serving your country. So uh, somebody has never served a day in his life to come out there uh, to attack a person for using his benefits that he earned, that he fought for, it's a shame. And uh, that's that's like attacking me for using my benefits, for me for receiving my my uh, VA healthcare and the things that I received for for fighting for my country. So uh, I'm here to support uh, Pedro for those reasons. So we talked about our opponent's um, business record, 57% voting record with the chamber. That's a F. Any of us that had an employee that performed at 57%, he'd be gone, right? So that's what we want to do. We want to fire that employee. We want to fire Rudy Salas, and we're going to do it today. I'm going to show you one last video. This is a compelling video, and I want you to look at it, and I want you to think about it. I want you to look at it, and I want you to listen to what it says, and I want you to let it sink deep into your heart. I am Pedro Rios. At age nine, I immigrated to this great nation. I worked my way through college, and in time, I became a successful teacher, soldier, mayor, and a farmer. As your assemblyman, I give you my word that I will work very hard to represent each and every one of you. I know the laws of our Creator, and I know that our Founding Fathers shed their blood so that we could live in freedom and prosperity. I humbly ask for your support, and I'd be honored to have your vote. That's right. We're here supporting a candidate that's a man of God. He loves the Lord, and he doesn't hide it. He is a business owner, he's a farmer, he's a teacher. He helps opportunity kids that are getting kicked out of school. And he's just a good guy, and he's a problem solver.